Shop. It's Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Hope you have a fun and safe holiday. Enjoy the time with your family and friends. Um, just wanted to produce this video here just uh, to let you know kind of what's going on. Um, I'm not going to have a video tomorrow. I'm going to skip a week. I'm going to do some other things that I want to get caught up on. Um, Speaking of videos, how'd you like my video last week? Uh, did the ornament for Carl and Alan's challenge? I think it turned out pretty well. I like it a lot. A couple days later, I was playing around. You may have seen it on my Facebook uh, page, and uh, I did that one too. So I got two ornaments this year for the uh, tree. Uh, we'll be putting up our tree tonight. We put up our tree every year after the Thanksgiving meals and everything. We put the tree up and then uh, we also take it down the night of Christmas after all the Christmas family stuff is done. Uh, just something that we've always done and we'll do it again this year. Um, some of my other projects uh, recently, it's been a while since I've done one of these mindful minutes. Uh, the octagon mirror, that one turned out really well. I wanted to uh, do a stain project and I also needed a mirror uh, for my bedroom, so uh, kind of a win-win. Uh, the stain, uh, red number 222 from Minwax. Uh, I didn't want the standard golden oak and I wanted something a little different and quite honestly it looks like every golden oak project that I've ever stained. Um, I don't know what it is with oak, it seems like it always stains the same color um, or really similar to it anyway. Uh, but I also put a uh, tip video on the stain cans recently, uh, poke a little hole in the can and it lets the uh, stain drip back down in the can. Somebody commented on the video said that it uh, can make the stain go bad. Um, I, I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I've never had a problem. I've been doing it for years, so uh, it might be true. I, I don't know. Um, it, it works well for me, so I'm going to continue doing it. Um, what else did I do? Uh, oh, the miter sled. Um, yeah, I needed a sled for a long time and uh, I had a client that wanted some picture frames and uh, it was just a good time to do the sled. So it's nothing out of the ordinary, nothing that everybody else hasn't already built. I just never needed a sled until now. It seems like lately I've been doing a lot of frames. so. That sled made it a lot nicer, and those joints really came together tight. I didn't even have to square it off or anything. It, it just worked well. I also did a bandsaw box. I gave that to my mom. Uh, it's just so happened uh, Nick Ferry did a bandsaw box that same day. Uh, that was not uh, attended, uh, but uh, kind of worked out well. Uh, Oh, my shop stool. Uh, yeah, I've only used that thing once. <laughs> I thought I'd use it a little bit more than I did, but uh, it, it's over there. It, it still works and everything, but I've only used it once so far. And that I think that was just to roll across the floor for a, uh, a little video thing. But uh, I, I'm sure I'll use it, especially in the summer when I'm out here a lot more than the winter. Um, other than that, uh, you can always, uh, if you guys decide to build any of my projects, uh, feel free. I I'm not picky, you know, just go out to the shop and make something. That's, that's all we're here to do, to inspire you guys to make your own projects and make your own projects yours. Um, you know, you may not like the shop stool design, but it might inspire you to come up with your own design. 
or the bandsaw box, you know, come up with your own different designs. Our purpose here on YouTube is just to help inspire you, come up with different ideas, um, and uh, just go out in the shop and have fun. That's the whole point of all this. And, uh, you know, it's it's been a blast all year for me. Uh, this is my first YouTube year. This is, I've uh, been doing a lot of uh, uh, trinket projects. And, uh, you know, some of the projects I use, some of them I sold, some of them I gave away, some of them I've trashed. So, you know, it's just fun getting out in the shop and doing things, and that's that's why I'm doing it. Um, what else we got? Um, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, I uh, thought I'd list YouTube related that I'm thankful for. I think that makes sense. Things that I'm thankful for because of YouTube. How about that? Um, a lot of it is you guys. Uh, the comments that I get, you know, great job Mike, uh, keep up the good work, or great video, or uh, that keeps me going. Um, I, I strive for comments like that that I don't expect that just come out of the blue, you know. That that really inspires me to keep going. Uh, so when you guys leave those comments, you know, thanks Mike or good job Mike or whatever, that really keeps me going. And uh, that's why I've been continuing making videos is because of you guys. Uh, my subscribers and hopefully millions more down the road, you know, 10, 15, 20 years from now, if you guys keep subscribing, I'm going to keep making videos. I'm doing it for you guys. Uh, it's not like I'm making a bunch of money here. <laughs> uh, the other thing I'm thankful for as far as YouTube is I've met and talked to a lot of new people. And uh, uh, most of them are woodworkers and other YouTube uh, creators, content creators. And, you know, some of the guys I've talked to is just top-notch people. Um, I, I got a small list here, but, y you know, that's all it is. It's a small list. I, I, the list is this big, and I've met a list of that many people, you know. Uh, but a couple of them that, uh, that I'd like to at least mention anyway is uh, Steve Carmichael, Carmichael's Workshop. Uh, I've talked to this guy several times and just a super stand-up guy and I, I'm happy to know him and uh, if you haven't checked out his videos, which I'm sure you have, leave a link down below and you can go check him out. Um, you know, uh, Carl Jacobson, hell of a wood turner, um, and Alan Stratton too as well. They're both hell of a wood turners. Uh, wow, I mean, the stuff that they pull off on that lathe is just awesome. And, you know, I've talked to these guys before, and, you know, I've hung out with them on Hangout, uh, Google Hangout, and uh, I've had one-on-one -on -one conversations with them, and they are just great people. Um, Izzy Swan, Nick Ferry, Jay Bates, uh, Patrick over Patrick Woodshop, Jason McGinn, Matt Banner. Uh, I mean, the list goes on. April Wilkerson. Uh, I, I I can't even think of all the names that I've of the people that I've talked to, and, and these people are inspiring me to make better videos, um, giving me tips and tricks and. Uh, uh, how to's, uh, you know, it, it's endless wealth of information that I'm getting from these. But that's enough of me rambling on. I just want to say thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos. And uh, thank you, all you YouTube content creators that has helped me uh, better my videos and better my projects. Um, like I said, the list goes on and on. 
Uh, Sterling Davis is another one. He has a challenge coming up, a pallet project challenge but that's coming up in December. So you want to go check his channel out and get some more details on that. Um, that's all I got. Uh, sorry I went a little long. I kind of got uh, caught up in what I was saying there. But uh, thank you guys again. Um, we'll see you next week with a project. And uh, happy Thanksgiving. See you next time.